Come on, everyone! We need to hurry! The enemy task force is almost here! All civilian personnel must evacuate to the planet's surface as soon as possible, or we risk getting caught in the crossfire. I'll take the next shuttle. Get these women and children out first. We're out of time, Mr. Twain. We better leave now. Yes, Captain Burnett, I got your message about leaving with you on board the Telemachus. But I can't. My place is down there on Terra Nova with the Governor and my people. Sir, maybe I did make myself clear. I got strict orders from Governor Cole and General Maddox to escort you and the other officials safely to Hades and Fort Duquesne at all costs. Even if it means I gotta carry you over my goddamn shoulder myself. No, Captain Burnett, that will not be necessary. As much as I hate to admit it, Captain, you're absolutely right. But no use to anyone if we end up being taken prisoner, or worse. Commander Steele, this is Captain Burnett. Deputy Governor Twain and I are making our way to the Telemachus now. How's it looking out there? It's not looking good, sir. We've got what appears to be an ROS task force consisting of two carriers, four heavy cruisers, and ten escorts, all inbound. We estimate that they will be within firing range in less than two minutes. Since we are a civilian installation, I fully expect them to hold fire and board us the first chance they get. But I doubt they'll offer the same courtesy to the rest of our ships out there, Captain. Understood, Commander. We're outnumbered four to one and I can't risk any stray fire damage in the station. We'll try to draw them away and jump out of the sector as soon as we're clear. Copy that. Good luck, Captain. You too, man. Burnett, out. people. All vessels. This is the Telemachus. Jump to the Hades Duquesne Waypoint Bravo immediately. Over. This is Gauntlet. Acknowledged. Watch that, Captain. Telemachus, this is the Cossack. Negative. We've taken too much damage. We're able to jump. Go. We'll try to hold them off for as long as we can. Over. God damn it. Acknowledged, Cossack. I promise you we will not forget this, and I swear we'll make these bastards pay. Telemachus, out. Contact me earlier. Is uh, still there? Whoa! Orbit, bring 
except who knows, but uh, I am going on break now, so we do take over, yes? Alright, copy that. Thanks, Sergei. Oh, 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 ouch! Oh, I always do that. We just lost comms. Matthews, what the hell is going on out there? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay, I think I've got it working, now that I've plugged it in properly. Greetings everyone, my name is Captain Robertson, private contractor with the Terra Nova branch of the Colonial Defence Force, and currently serving the last five months of my corporate service, which is a bit like community service, but instead of any state, I'm working for one of the many corporations. In this case, it's the Soul Cooperative. The date is January 21st, 2081, and I'm currently stuck here in the Soul Cooperative Surface Station 19 on the moon of Europa, which, for those of you that don't know, is an icy moon that orbits the gas giant Jupiter in the Sol system. Now, those of you that have been following my progress since I got back from 82G Eridani will most likely already know my appeal for the charges against me sort of went well. I was hoping they would drop all the original, trumped-up charges, but instead they decided to add a whole bunch of new ones, like desecration of a war memorial and breaking out of a Martian penitentiary. Thankfully, I had Jonathan Twain II, Marshal Edward Gordon and even General Maddox fighting in my corner, so instead of sending me straight back to prison, they reached a compromise whereby I serve a reduced sentence but under a type of house arrest and under the supervision of the Soul Cooperative. Which, to be honest, isn't too bad. It could have certainly gone a lot worse, and I think the Mars Provisional Government weren't too happy with that outcome, as from the sounds of things, they'd have rather I'd been given the death sentence instead. Speaking of the Martians, there's been something of a regime change over the last year or so. They're now calling themselves the Martian Federation, and they've got a new Madame President called Merdina Shazad or Mardina the Murderer, as she's not so affectionately known by many of her critics, due to the fact that a lot of her political rivals, and indeed anyone that's got on her wrong side, appear to have either vanished or ended up dead under very mysterious circumstances. Unfortunately, at the moment tensions are running pretty high between the Martian Federation and the Terran Colonial Authority. You see, recently the TCA moved their headquarters from Mars to Terra Nova, and not surprisingly there's been a huge influx of skilled technical and scientific staff that have emigrated there, both from Mars and also from some of the other colonies and orbital habitats. Combined with the fact that Mars has more or less allied themselves with results-oriented sciences against many of the other corporations, and they've even blocked all attempts to terraform the Earth, even going so far as to arrest Professor Ralph Hansen, the head of Nova Industries, for trying to do so privately. As you can imagine, this has angered a lot of the colonists, not only from the outer colonies, but on Terra Nova itself, which hasn't exactly helped the situation. Worryingly, the narrative that we're getting from the Martian Federation seems to suggest that they're convinced that the TCA are governed by criminals that are somehow tainted by ancient alien biotech, of course, being from Terra Nova with the nanites and everything, or that they're anti-Martian extremists who are deliberately trying to steal all their best scientists and hydroponics professionals so that they can monopolize the production and distribution of all the food that comes out of Terra Nova and starve Mars into subservience. It's all absolute bullshit, of course, but they've somehow managed to brainwash a lot of the Martian population into believing that this is indeed the case. Sadly, I'm not entirely up to date on everything that's going on, as my access to the Galactic Net, or Galnet to use its more common abbreviation, or indeed anything else linked to the outside universe for that matter, is extremely restricted, what with me essentially being a prisoner and all that. Anyway, I digress. The reason why I'm recording again is that the station chief here wants me to record him receiving a Certificate of Merit, from the Visiting Sector Administrator later today. Yeah, apparently this is a big deal for him, and he wants all of his staff to appear in the recording. Well, all of them except for me, of course, as I'm technically not an employee, so I don't count. But hey, if there's anything I've learned since my time being stuck between... Ah, speak of the devil.
Robertson here, Chief. What can I do for you? Russell 826. We just lost comms because Matthews hit the underside antenna with a cargo loader. Him and Antonov have used up their daily rat allowance, so I need you to go out there and fix it. Understood, Chief, but the radiation levels are at their highest at the moment. What about the topside antenna? Can we not use that one instead, at least for the meantime? Just do what I tell you and get your ass up there now. Oh, and be quick about it, 826. Remember, I need you down and back in by 0800. You got your camera ready yet? Yes, Chief. Good. Hmm. <laughs> okay, then. Hmm. Evans forgot the explosives. Well, I'm going outside anyway, so I may as well take them with me. I'll stick them in the outside cargo container for when the next crew need them to blast through the ice. Well, if it ain't Crash Gordon over there. Nice work, Matthews. So what's this now? Like, the third time you've crashed that forklift or rolled it over? Don't tell me I need to fix that too whilst I'm out there. Ah, uh, no, no. We're good. We're good. <laughs> what the heck is that you've got there, Sergey? You playing games on the hollow table again? Uh, no, is it uh, uh, like, uh, how you say? A, a toy? Yes. A toy? Yes, like, uh, uh, how you say, it sound like, uh, like woman that show body. What? Oh, you mean a model? Yes, model. I make it for uh, uh, my boy to play with 3D printer. Oh, I see. Very clever. Well, I'm sure he'll love it. But I just hope the boss doesn't mind. The fat controller can be a little strict about these sorts of things. Just remember what he did to Matthews when he caught him playing Dungeons and Dragons on this thing. He's, he's okay. I, I pay him. I uh, sell these on the Galnet too for, for credit. He's not much, but still profit. Ah, nice one, Sergey. Sounds like you've got yourself a bit of a mini enterprise there. I have to admit, though, that spacecraft does look a little familiar. Isn't that the constitution from that old Space Trek series? You know, the one with that Captain Jean-Luc T. Kirk and whatnot. Yes, yes, my boy, he likes Space Trek. <laughs> yeah, the ongoing adventures of a fellow captain boldly going where no one has gone before. <laughs> you are not captain. You cannot be captain. You have no, um, uh, uh, sheep. Sheep? Yes, you know, uh, like sheep with sail. Oh, you mean ship? Yes, is what I said, sheep. Well, I did, but, you know, bad things happen sometimes. Shortly before my corporate service began, I leased the Daedalus out to the Soul Cooperative so that they could take care of it whilst I was gone. They were using it to ferry personnel and supplies to some of their stations in the asteroid belt when it was caught in the middle of an ambush by ROS security forces. And you can pretty much guess the rest. I know it really wasn't my fault, but it was still technically my vessel, and I'm getting a little worried that I risk getting something of a reputation for losing the ships under my command. A bit like another certain commander out there, that shall remain nameless. <laughs> Sheep gone. Ha! Yeah, well, as much as I'd love to stay here and chat with you, Mr. Antonov, I'd better get out there and fix that antenna before the Soul Co-op sector admin arrives. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, you know I will. Hi, Steve. E26, going out to perform antenna maintenance, etc., etc. Okay.
Hmm, I don't understand it. Why don't they just use the topside antenna? I'd have thought it would be the main one they'd use all the time anyway. In fact, hang on. Oh well, that figures. Can't see I'm surprised though. Now, I'm not sure whether they just never finished it, or if they actually cannibalized it for supplies over the years and never replaced the parts. Still a little reckless though. Right, let's see what the damage is like. Bloody hell. The annoying thing about repairing these is that they take frickin' ages, mainly because those radio communications components take up so much damn space, as I found out whilst repairing the Roanoke. Okay, let's get started. I'll just get the spare parts I need from the surface cargo container, and drop off these explosives whilst I'm there. You know, it may be as boring as all hell, but it ain't too bad. I mean, just another five months to go, and before I know it, I'll be back on Terra Nova helping to train new recruits to the CDF again. And who knows, they might even give me command of a new vessel and I can help patrol the system. You still get the occasional troublemakers out there. Corporate raiders, pirates, smugglers, you name it. Granted, it's nowhere near as bad as things are here in the Soul System, but 82 Giradani still has its fair share of excitement from time to time. <laughs> General Maddox would probably laugh if you heard me say that. The guys are probably bored to tears over there right now. <laughs> okay. Well, that was weird. Control, this is Robertson. I mean, 826 here. I just got a burst of what sounded like static coming through my headset, so this is just a quick radio check to make sure you can still read me, over. Evans, this is 826. Come in, over. This is 826. Can anyone hear me? Over. <sighs> Wonderful. There, almost done. Just a few more minutes and I'll be back upstairs where I'll be a little safer from all this deadly radiation out here. Right, just one more- Oh, what the fuck?